The last useful topic in this introduction to regular expressions is negative look-aheads. Now, the negative look-ahead is a little bit strange, but it can be useful in some circumstances. Uh, hopefully, this lesson will just in make you uh, think about trying to master all the aspects of regular expressions because it is a very powerful set of tools. What the negative look ahead does is it basically says, okay, I'm going to do this search, but what I'm going to do is at a particular point in the search, I'm going to look ahead real quickly and see if some element is not there. So for instance, this right here is going to look for a word that begins with DE. And then it's going to look here and it's going to say, all right, whatever that next character is coming up, because all it does is it examines, it uses this as a filter to examine this next character coming up. It's a little bit different. So what it means is this does not uh, eat up any terrain in the search. And what it says is, whatever that next character is, it cannot be an A, E, I, O, or U. So let's give this a try. We're going to begin with D and E, and then we're going to have the parentheses. Begin it with a question mark, but this time, after the question mark, we have an exclamation point. And we're going to write in there, any vowel, A, E, I, O, or U. So that's what's going to be excluded. And then that character is what's going to be checked, that it's not in A, E, I, O, or U. And that looks like it's given us the right results. That we've got D and E in each of these, and we do not have one of these five vowels in the next portion. We probably could have accomplished this in a much simpler fashion, in a more conventional fashion. And we could simply say, have the next letter not be any one of those. And we're getting interesting results. We're getting a space in between there. So what that means is it's saying this can't be an A, E, I, O, or U, but that allows a space to be there. So if we wanted to make sure there was no space there, we could just add that in. And we're getting similar results that we had before. So you can see the negative look ahead can be a little bit more elegant for excluding items that you don't want in a particular position coming up.